Hello and welcome back everybody to the Kansas City Scouts 2K22 My NBA Expansion Series episode 19 I believe this one is. We just had a really promising off season and going to give you a couple of little tidbits of information on what we're looking forward to uh, sort of long term. So first we have uh, the draft picks. We have four for this upcoming draft. We have ours, the Knicks first rounder, the Clippers first rounder, and the Thunder first rounder. Uh, we have two next season. Um, another Knicks pick from the Mitchell Palmer trade plus our own. And then the year after that in 2027, we also have two first round picks. So we have a lot of draft capital to work with if you want to do some trades, which may or may not happen. I'm not sure. We got to see how the year plays out. But we have eight first round picks in the next three seasons. So the future, if I hit on even a couple of those, if I keep all of them, is looking pretty bright. Um, but we also have to look at contract extensions because this could shape what we do in the draft. For example, Yusuf Nurkic is going to test as of right now. Uh, we do have bird rights, but I'm going to let him walk either way. Even if he was going to resign, I would not give it to him. And the rest of the players like Chris Dunn, Bertans, even Wade Webb, Brandon Forbes, between and Curry. The only one here that matters really is Wade Webb. Uh, not eligible. We do have bird rights though, but um, he is going to be an unrestricted free agent. So uh, he will hit the open market at the, at the end of the year. And depending on how he plays, uh, we'll see about bringing him back because he is, again, only a 75 overall. Uh, again, only 20 years old. But if he can play well this year, then I will look to bring him back. Um, but aside from that, I've already talked about uh, Zubat and my plan for him is probably to trade him by the trade deadline. Not going to do it this episode or the, the next one probably, but by the trade deadline, he will probably be gone. If we trade him, um, I either might use some of the first round picks to get uh, a really good player. We'll see. But um, if not, then we'll just see what happens. Maybe we just get more draft capital from the Zubats trade. So, aside from that, uh, Mitchell Palmer again is uh, on the New York Knicks. We'll go look at their roster real quick. So here he is, Mitchell Palmer. Up to 81 overall point guard at 23 years old. And again, here's a look at his career stats up to this point. Has not shot above 38% on the season. Uh, in his career so far, um, but uh, he did go up to A plus playmaking, B on three pointer, A minus mid range, C plus inside scoring. Apparently, B minus defense on the perimeter. I don't, I don't buy that at all. I mean, he's five eleven. He's not gonna. That's not gonna matter. Um, but uh, we'll we'll keep tabs on him. See if I uh, if I messed up in trading him. I don't think I did because uh, I probably would not have gotten Damian Weaver. If uh, if I would have kept Palmer, so either way, um, let's just get right into things. But uh, right before we start, one last thing: my voice is a little bit raspy. Uh, I was at the Cowboys Patriots game over the weekend, and uh, I was very vocal, obviously, as you can tell. So uh, my voice is a little bit different than usual, but it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, anyways, let's jump in here and watch uh, our team play against the Dallas Mavericks. By the way, Quincy Cage starting as the point guard uh, for the first couple of weeks of the season until uh, Weaver is back from that spinal injury. So Quincy Cage will start and uh, let's get right down to business, folks. On the road at the American Airlines Center here in Dallas, we're gonna take on Luka Doncic, Kristaps Porzingis, and the Dallas Mavericks. Let's see how it goes in Premier Week. Luca gets inside and hits a very contested layup over Jaron Jackson after he got around Quincy Cage. Uh, so for this episode, my goal is to get a good look at Cage as a starter. Obviously, even though he's going to be starting for a uh, uh, minimal amount of time. But I also want to get a, a, get a good look at uh, BJ Mason off the bench. 
So, uh, we get scores down low over Tim Hardaway Jr., but uh, we're going to have a little bit of a spotty, uh, spotty jump-ins here with seeing our team so I can get some good looks at B.J. Mason as that three falls for Dallas. Not sure who that was, but he hit his first three of the season. Jackson down low, guarded by Tim Hardaway. That's not Tim Hardaway, I'm wrong. It's somebody else who's waiting. Jackson spins, goes to Nurkic, nice pass, a nice dunk. Luka slips inside and scores again. He's got four. Nurkic feeds Jackson again. Jackson goes to Webb. Webb for three. He got it. Seven to seven. Okay, let's get Wade Webb more involved. I like that. Can Cage stop Luka? He goes back out to Washington. That's who it is. Washington is two for two from beyond the arc for Dallas. Pussy Cage fires from three, and he knocks it down. Okay. What a good start on offense. Defense needs some work, but the offense looks uh, looks pretty good early on. Luka gets inside, pulls up, and knocks down another close-range jumper. Wiggins lost the ball. It's stolen by Luka, poked out by Tim Hardaway. Here's Washington now. He goes to Hardaway down low, and Hardaway scores over Wiggins down low. Neither team has missed a shot here. 10 for 10 across both teams as Nurkic gets down low, and he can't hit after some, I guess, good defense by Kristaps. Luka spins, gets inside again, and scores. He's got eight. Cage with it, screen from Nurkic. Cage drives, and he is fouled by Porzingis on that. First free throw is good. The second, good as well. High scoring game so far. Luka, open shot, mid-range. He knocks it down. Perfect start for Luka Doncic, and for the Mavericks as well. Jackson pulls up, and it's blocked by Martin. That was not a good shot selection right there. As Porzingis gets down a nice pass by Washington, and Dallas is up to an eight-point lead early on. Wade Webb lobs it, and Jackson is there to tip it in. Nice pass. Hardaway open three. Hardaway knocks it down. Dallas, have they even missed a shot yet? I don't think they have. Jackson steps back and fires, and that shot's no good. Porzingis on the board. Off the pass, Porzingis pulls up, and that shot saw. It's their first miss. Cage feeds Jackson. Jackson guarded by Martin. He pulls up and shoots, and that shot falls. Contested jumper for Jaron Jackson. And after that shot, we will jump ahead and get some action from the backups in a few minutes. All right, guys, about two and a half to go in this first quarter. Going to get some action here for B.J. Mason and the backups. But uh, the game is not looking good right now. We have allowed almost 40 points in this first quarter as Meyer knocks down that mid-range jumper. But uh, they are 17 for 19. What? What in the world? The defense has got to be better. Harold down low, dunks and is fouled by Jake Meyer. Man. Feels like ever since that game against Charlotte, our defense has just taken a turn for the worst. Meyer takes a wild shot. What in the world was that? Patrick McCall inside. He's fouled again. It's Meyer again. McCaw knocks down both 44 first quarter points for Dallas and we uh, we cannot get a stop like at all Chris Dunn slips inside but can't score here's Patrick McCaw he pulls up in range shots at the elbow and it goes in somehow what is going on Jackson down low, guarded by Harrell. He scores inside. 
Harrell mismatch against Chris Dunn. That's an easy bucket down low. Again, they have only missed two shots the entire game. Uh, I don't think we've ever played this bad. And that... What, what just happened? A call pulls up. That shot's off. Is there any hope? Is this game already over? I don't know. Jackson, time counting down. He pulls up from three. That shot is an air ball. Now by 21 at the end of the first quarter. Jackson off the pass. Down low. Scores. Nice pass by Cage. Uh, apparently there's a main menu update thing that I got to do. But it's, it's going to be on the screen until I do it. Um... So I'm gonna I'm gonna sim a little bit as Lambert pulls up and that shot's off. We got lucky there. I wanna sim a little bit if it never gets close, and we'll just show me to a different game and watch that game for the rest of the episode. Uh sorry about this guys. But I mean this game is uh not close right now as Nurkic scores down low. Okay, real quick, here's the box score. The game did not get it any closer. We couldn't fight back at all. We lost by 32. Uh, we'll jump into a game real quick right after this one. Um, Doncic 27, 5, and 9. Lambert 19 points. Washington 15 and 12. Craig Washington been in the in the league for three years now. Um, Porzingis 15 and 12 for the Scouts. 21 and 13 for Jackson. 18, 9 and 5 with three steals and a block for Nurkic. 14 points for Webb. 11 for Wiggins. 10 for Zubats. Meyer 9 and 12. Cage 9 points. B.J. Mason 1 for 10. That's not, that's not good. All right, guys, start of the second half of this first home game of the entire season. This is uh, game two of the 82-game schedule. And it's uh, our first home game. We take on the Clippers, and we are up by 24 at the start of the third quarter, 67 to 43. Wiggins got 23 points. Uh, Anthony Davis has 15 points for the Clippers. Again, they have McCall Bridges, Anthony Davis, Ethan Newton, who is a, a point guard in the same class as Quincy Cage. They got a pretty solid team, but we have uh, played really well so far. We're going to watch uh, six minutes of the third and fourth quarters as AD gets down low and stuffs that one in to open the second half. Wiggins pulls up, close range shot. That one is not going to fall. AD down low again. This time it's not going to fall. Jaron Jackson was there for the stop. Cage pulls up from three, and that one is short. Newton finds Goodrich. Goodrich for three. The stretch five. Not going to knock that one down. Cage feeds Jackson. Mismatch on Nathan Newton. We love these mismatches down low. And Jackson takes full advantage every time. AD goes to Newton. Newton down low is fouled by Nurkic. The first one is good for Newton. The second one is good as well. 22 point game. Webb feeds Nurkic. Nurkic down low. He spins and muscles Goodrich out of the way so he can score. Nice move. Newton feeds AD. AD. Not going to drop, but Goodrich gets it back and gets blocked by Nurkic. Webb feeds Nurkic down low. Mismatch against Mikel Bridges, former scout. Nurkic scores on him. We've shot 67%. We've held them below 40%. AD pulls up. Baseline shot. Not going to fall. Cage with a time cutting down screen from Nurkic. Cage has to pull up, and that shot is off. AD, huge mismatch against Wade Webb. He goes back to Newton. Newton off the screen, and guarded by Cage. He has to pull up. That shot no good, and Wiggins comes down with the board. And then it, Wiggins has his pass picked off. Tried to find Webb down low in the paint, but... Malik Beasley was there. 
Newton fades and has it snatched out of thin air by Jaron Jackson. What a play. Webb feeds Jackson. Mismatch again. He spins and shoots, but that shot's off this time. AD goes to wide open. Beasley for three. He knocks it down. Cage pulls up inside and knocks down that close range jumper. Cage has uh, shown some really uh, promising flashes, especially on offense. Newton pulls up in the face of Cage and that shot's off again. Cage lobs it, the reverse jam by Jared Jackson. What a alley oop. Leak Beasley slips inside and is fouled by Wiggins. That's his second foul. The first free throw for Beasley is good. The second is good as well. Cage, deep three. That shot falls. Quincy Cage. He has really shown some good stuff. Beasley drives, then steps back and shoots, and that shot's off. Mason down low draws the foul as he has just checked in. So our rookie will take a couple of free throws. Mason's first is good. The second is no good. Beasley drives and blocked by Zubots. Beasley again drives inside and scores this time off the glass. All right, let's head to the fourth quarter. All right, guys, under five to go here in this fourth quarter. This game is well over, but I want to get some looks at uh, at Jake Meyer, who gets blocked down low but got it back and is fouled. But I want to get a look at him. More action for Cage and more action for BJ Mason. Those three guys I want to get some more action of and see uh, see how they do. Myers free throw is no good. The second, no good either. Hayward wide open three. He knocks it down for LA. Nurkic goes to Cage. Another open three. That's deep. He knocks it down again. Quincy goddamn Cage, everybody. Holy shit, he's exciting. 19 points on this game, the first home game of the season, and he is showing out. Reeves pulls up inside, and that shot's off. The defense has been really good this game. I wish we could have seen this kind of defense in, uh, in the game against the Mavericks, but I guess not. Mason feeds Nurkic. Nurkic backs down, healed, and scores. Hayward again from three, and this time it's not going to fall. Jake Meyer steps back and shoots. That shot is barely off. Newton lobs it, and AD's there. Reverse slam. Oh, Hayward fouls Cage, so free throws for him. That gives him 20 on the day. 7 for 12 from the field. Cage is uh, showing some really good stuff here. And uh, we could have a bright future with him as one of our point guards. We'll see about Damian Weaver next episode, obviously. Lob and BJ Mason taps it out of the air. But the Clippers got it back. Dude in. Guarded by Cage, has to pull up. That shot falls. Are you serious? What a shot by Ethan Newton. That makes it a 30-point uh, game. Cage, nice pass to Jackson. Down low, Jackson scores. Hayward picks up his fifth foul. But I have to question why Jackson is currently in the game. As he knocks down his free throw. Reeves spins, shoots, and that shot is off. Zubas off the pass from Cage. Backs down Reeves and goes to work and scores. Got beat LA chance here at the Sprint Center as that shot falls for Buddy Heald. Cage. This guy is awesome. 
That same play, three times this game we have seen him knock down that three on that same exact play every time. Hayward, out of a pass goes to Goodrich, or out of a shot goes to Goodrich. He scores down low, but under a minute left, we are up by 34 points. Jackson down low, guarded by Hayward, gets inside and dunks all over Hayward to put the stamp on it. 22 points for Jaron Jackson. He shot very well. More chance from this Sprint Center crowd. And uh, what a way to bounce back after that opening night loss against the Mavericks. But a heel from three. That shot, no good. Jackson gets the board. Zubats down low. He dunks. And that will do it here, folks. I wonder if the Clippers will try and score here. It won't matter, obviously, but Hayward pulls up. That shot's blocked out of bounds. We didn't really get to see a lot from B.J. Mason in any of these games. Just uh, watched him go one for two at the free throw line. But uh, that's all we got out of him. But how about Quincy Cage, guys? I did not expect that. I did not expect this either. Especially after opening night. A 133-95 win against the L.A. Clippers and Anthony Davis. And uh, what a win it was. We played very well. All right, a very, very good win against the Clippers. We scored 30 or more in every quarter of the game. Uh, defense was very solid. Uh, 25 for Wiggins. Uh, so he only scored, what, two points in, that sec in, in the entire second half. Uh, Cage, how about Quincy Cage, man? That was awesome. 24 points, 15 assists. What a stat line. And he, uh, he shot well from the floor and beyond the arc. Uh, Jaron Jackson shot well. He was uh, 22 and 13. Wade Webb, 15 points. He shot well. B.J. Mason had 15 points, which we saw like the the only free throw, and that was it. Uh, 10 points for Meyer. 10 points for Chris Dunn. Uh, 8 points for Nurkic. 4 for Zubats. And uh, for the Clippers, 23 for Beasley. 23, 5, 5 for AD. But nobody else really stepped up. And uh, how about this... Uh, Little uh, duality of man right here. Lost by 32 opening night. Bounce back with like uh what is that? Like a 38 point win. That's 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 pretty special. But uh to end the episode, I'm gonna sim until the exact game where Weaver comes back. Because whatever game he's gonna be back for, that's the game that we're gonna watch next episode to, to watch his debut as a member of the Scouts. So I'll sim a little bit. We'll come back when he's back. I'll check the box scores and then we'll call it a day. Well, guys, Weaver is back. And the first game that we have uh, with his uh, debut is against the Toronto Raptors at home. So we're going to adjust the rotation, put him back in. Quincy Cage, by the way, is on fire. Uh, Wade Webb uh, apparently is not on fire, but a couple of players are. So, uh, it's unfortunate, but we do have to put Cage back to the bench because uh, Weaver has got to start. We could possibly, uh, if we want to, maybe relegate Wade Webb to the bench at some point during the season and have maybe Quincy Cage be the point guard or the shooting guard and vice versa with Weaver, but have them two start as our two guards. We'll see how that works out. But for now, despite that really good game by Cage, we're going to put him on the bench Dunn will not get any more playing time. We'll give Weaver his minutes. And we will lower the minutes for... Let's lower the minutes for Zubats a little bit, even though he's playing well. We'll lower it for Meyer a little bit. Uh, we'll give those to Weaver. We'll lower Cage by one and give the one to Weaver. And then for the seven points of emphasis, we'll uh, relegate Wiggins down to the third scoring option, make the second one Weaver. Make this one Wiggins, and then uh, I think we're good to go. So, Raptors, October 30th. 
uh, Halloween Eve is uh, against the Raptors. And that's the game that Weaver will make his scouts debut, which I am very excited for. Uh, for the other games that we played, we lost by a, a hefty margin to the Wizards. So we have uh, some work to do on offense, apparently, but that was without Weaver, so we'll see. 20 points for Webb, 16 for Wiggins, 11, 4, and 4 for Cage. Jackson uh, was shut down. Mason had 10 points. For the Wizards, Pascal Siakam. Uh, one, re one rebound off of a triple-double. Uh, Cole Anthony, 18 points. Corey Kispert, 15 points. Bradley Beal, 13. Isaiah Todd, 13. Willie Fuller, who's their rookie center, 8 points with 15 rebounds. And then against the Rockets, we got our second one of the year to go up to 2-2. Two and two. Uh, and uh, 26 points for Jalen Green, 23-7-7 seven and seven for Kyrie. Tracy Cardinal, 14 points. For the Scouts, 30 points for Jaron Jackson. 16 and 9 for Meyer. 15, 6, and 7 for Cage. 5 for 14 from the field though. Nurkic, 14 points. Zubots, 14 points. Webb, 11 points. Mason, 3 points, 1 for 4. And uh we're 2 and 2 on the year, guys. And that'll do it for Premier Week and for the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you enjoy the content. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.